bragging. He called for Hillary to be shot by firing squad. Do you agree? Hillary Clinton is once again being discussed by reporters and not in a good way. Former Assistant Director James Kallstrom of the Federal Bureau of Investigation made comments indicating he believes Hillary Clinton should be killed before a firing squad. Not exactly the kind of talk you expect from someone with such a high-profile position. When the former assistant director made his comments he was referring to her being held accountable for her crimes like embezzling, bribing, misuse of classified documents, her handling of the entire Benghazi tragedy, and her use of a private email server while she was serving as Secretary of State. He argues that what she did qualifies as treason and can be prosecuted as such and that she should. Kallstrom's comments are not surprising considering the man has become a talking pundit who appears in various conservative news outlets to pretty much bash anyone anti-Republican or anti-Trump and reveal the inner workings of the agency he used to work for. Real Clear Politics reported the following about what he said the FBI was doing to President Trump when he was still employed. FMR FBI Assistant Director James Kallstrom argues the FBI planned to destroy Donald Trump's presidency on Fox Business Network's Varney & Co. He said that the claims that a cabal of government workers was trying to block President Trump's progress were true beyond question. Ever since he was elected, we've seen this facade, this phony challenge to Trump about collusion in Russia. Nothing could be further from the truth, Kallstrom added. About the text message from FBI agent Peter Strzok regarding FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, Kallstrom said, We saw they were in Andy's office plotting some kind of thing. And I think that some kind of thing is what we are seeing right now. Andy's office is supposedly referring to Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, according to lawmakers who plan to ask the involved parties under oath. McCabe testified behind closed doors in front of the House Intelligence Committee on Tuesday. I want to believe the path you threw out for consideration in Andy's office, that there's no way he gets elected, but I'm afraid we can't take that risk," FBI agent Peter Strzok texted on August 15, 2016. It's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event you die before you're 40. I think recent events, that I'm aware of, are going to improve that, because there's going to be something actually something that's going to happen in my view," Kallstrom said. There is more to that cable than meets the eye and it's something many believe in. 99% of the people in the FBI are doing a fantastic job, he said. It's a small cabal of people running the FBI, the James Comey sycophants. Kallstrom called the development a nasty thing to be watching. People in the FBI getting very political, not basing their, work, on the rule of law or protecting the American public. I'm coming more and more to the conclusion that this is a conspiratorial cabal among the fifth column to basically take away the presidency of the United States," he said. This whole thing with Russia is just a farce, he said, adding, if we find out that that phony, Russian dossier, was brought to the U.S. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, in the form of an affidavit for a judge's authority, and if we find out that the people signing that affidavit in the bureau knew that that was phony information, that is a serious serious felony. Kallstrom also argues that what Strzok did was illegal and that he too should be held accountable for his actions and be prosecuted next to Hillary Clinton. Former FBI Assistant Director James Kallstrom says a strong case can be made for an obstruction of justice charge against demoted FBI counterintelligence agent Peter Strzok and many others at the FBI and Department of Justice. Strzok, the former assistant director argued, belongs behind bars. Kallstrom was on Fox Business Thursday to talk about the conflicts of interest in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russia's influence in the 2016 U.S. election. He began by ridiculing Strzok's apparent self-image as a lone ranger riding to the rescue of America. Nothing could be further from the truth, Kallstrom scoffed. Obama went a long way toward destroying this nation in my view. The economy he doubled the debt, he screwed up the military, he had the FBI become extremely politically correct, and never mind the foreign policy disasters, Kallstrom argued. And here's that so-called Lone Ranger riding in to save the country. It's just outrageous. He added.
While many of Kallstrom's comments are just opinions based off his experience with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, there are some that argue what he is saying is true because he has insider knowledge and there are some saying he doesn't have real or substantiated information and that he is not a trustworthy contact. Share if you think Kallstrom is speaking the truth. Truth.